flesh, bones, and blood of the earth. There's a fire and water within me, and the air that I breathe of the world. And I know deep within me I live on and on, like the waters of life and the salt in the sea. I live on and on, but I don't yet know where. Where the waters of life and the salt of the sea they dissolve. There's a wind and it blows and it thunders, and the rains come and go on the plains. Once I saw you there standing before me, and now I am here all alone. And I know deep within me you live on and on like the waters of life and the salt in the sea. You live on and on, but I don't get. When the waters of life and the salt of the sea they dissolve. The seeker asked, "What is Maya, the illusion?" The master said, "Bring a glass." and asked how is it the seeker said it's beautiful the master said now break it the seeker resisted the master said this is my you get bound to something and then you cannot get rid of it anything that snatches away your freedom is maya anything that takes away the liberty is a form of maya baba has come into this world from his spiritual homeland to free us because bondage and slavery is sorrow and the greatest bondage is mental bondage mental slavery emotional slavery the slavery where your vices rule you desires rule you jealousy rules you lust and anger rules you the rule of these vices over you is the reason 
for this struggle. So Baba has come into this world. He said, everything is old here. Everything in, is in tatters. Human beings as well as things. Everywhere there is dark darkness. Everyone is in bondage. Everyone has become weak. So the goal is to get situated in Swasvarup. What is my real form? What is my real nature? Where is my real home? If you look into the biographies of all the great men, from their childhood, they had the feeling that this is not the world they want. As if they are aliens, they belong to some other world. And Baba said, this is not your world. You are here for just time being. So he has come to remind you. He has come to give the tilak, self-sovereignty. He has come to free you from this life which is full of struggle and strife and make you sit on the seat of God's heart throne. So in a second, just visualize yourself sitting in that heart throne of God. This seat is extremely pure, free from worries and stresses and tensions of this life. No bondage. I am sitting in the heart throne of God. So that's the first task from today's Murli. Visualize yourself sitting on the seat. This beautiful seat. It's a journey from the warrior's like stage to the stage where you rule. This struggle Baba said, this is not a struggle-driven spiritual life. This is bliss-driven spiritual life. Where everything ar should arise from love. You have to do Amrit Vela and you have to listen and go to Murli class. There is a fear associated with this. You do this, you do that. You should be like this, you should be wearing this. There's some sort of force. All things should arise from fear, from love, from bliss, from joy of doing it. Rather than that warrior-like stage, where there is confusion, when there is indecision, you are struggling to do this or to do that. It is not that struggle is not important. Struggle is important in life. The Murli is not negating struggle and strives of life. But it is telling you have done a lot of struggle. Now come to this seat of self-awareness where all the efforts would become effortless. It is not that Baba is against effort. 
और पुरुषार्थ और स्ट्रगल और वॉरियर लाइक स्टेट बट ही इज रिमाइंडिंग दैट दिस इज अनदर पाथ ऑफ लव यू फॉलो दिस पाथ अंडरस्टैंड हु यू आर वॉट यू आर फ्रॉम वेर यू हैव कम वॉट इज योर डिवाइन नेचर सो ऑटोमेटिकली ऑल थिंग्स विल हैपन यू डोंट हैव टू डू एनी थिंग सो दिस जर्नी फ्रॉम बींग अ योद्धा टू बींग अ रूलर सेल्फ सोवरेन और सिटिंग ऑन दी हार्ट थ्रोन यू कैन क्रिएट अ टाइम लाइन इन हाउ मच टाइम आई वॉन्ट माई स्टेज टू बिकम लाइक दिस राइट नाउ आई एम ह्यू द स्टेज ऑफ स्ट्रगल नो क्रिएट अ टाइम लाइन सी द पास टाइम लाइन्स struggling and struggling and struggling and there is still confusion there is no stabilization of career no stabilization of spiritual life no stabilization of relationships desires sit down and meditate how i can create or bring stability in financial life social life spiritual life personal life in effort in overcoming addictions so creating a timeline that is the second task and the third the murli has many beautiful sayings success is our eternal right rather than our you can make it my when you call it our it becomes generalized and success first has to be personal and the definition of success changes according to situations and according to time what is success for me may not be a success for you success is a relative terminology so create some artwork from this what it comes what comes to your mind when you think that success is a birth right that also doesn't mean that you will never fail but a real seeker sees takes tuition from his failures also this murli focuses on here and now live in this moment sangam yug confluence age about is about living here and now if you can create heaven here in this moment then only you can think of having a heaven in future it is not the length of time it is the depth of time that matters a person may come to madhuban for one day and he may experience that which people who are living here from last 6 months have not experienced it is not the length of the moment it is the depth of the moment to live with full awareness to live here and now 
to swing in the swing of supersensuous bliss. So your future depends upon your present. Whatever you are doing now is deciding the future. And at last Baba said, eat fresh instant fruit that you have eaten that fruit of effort till now that has made you weak, blind. Your intellect has been ruined and you have become karmaheen. Your actions, karmas, have also been destroyed. So now, here and now, celebrate. Samapti Samaro. You celebrate the completion ceremony here. Then only you can have perfection ceremony in the future to finish what? to finish the past karmic debts to finish the past karmic accounts so what are the practical things we can think from this mutli the first enough of the life of struggle now come to the life of love. You have been struggling and struggling and struggling and to no end. Now come and swing in the swing of super sensuous bliss. That is the first thing. Then redefine success. What is success for me? What are the ways and means to achieve success? Then, Swarajya. Somebody might be a king who rules over the subjects, but is he the king of his anger? Is he the king of his jealousy? Somebody might go to the moon, but has he climbed? Has he increased the speed of reaching the zenith of higher consciousness? So that's another thing. So about success, about speed, about living in this moment, about living here and now. Baba said, if you cannot have inheritance here and now, what is the use? If you cannot have treasures here and now, what is the use? If you cannot have success here and now, what is the use? If you cannot become fortunate here and now, what is the use? If you cannot become the embodiment of Siddhi, what is the use? Super sensuous bliss is the inheritance. Forget this heaven. Baba also compared Chandravanshi and Suryavanshi. It is now what you are doing. Do you experience being fortunate now? Do you feel you are filled with treasures and do you feel you are having success at every step? The inheritance is not about gaining some kingdom and becoming a ruler to some world in future. The inheritance is to become happy now The inheritance is to become free now. The inheritance is to become strong now. The inheritance is to become powerful. To live a life of freedom. That is the inheritance. 
because every thing that makes me a slave is the cause of my sorrow and my suffering so think what is it that is bounding me that is binding me baba said get rid of all the past karmic accounts and do this celebration now here and now so mehnat making efforts walking slowly aram and third youth warrior like state get rid of these three things and come to freedom and come to strength and come to the heart throne and come to to the remembrance of the original home and original nature not effort but love not laziness but alertness not bondage but freedom not being a warrior but being a ruler so these are the three tasks from today's murli first to visualize multiple times that you are the ruler the second make a timeline in how much time i am going to reach that state from warrior like stage to the stage of self sovereignty and the third is success is my birth right what picture what art what image what portrait what poem what prose what thing comes in your mind how can you depict how can you represent success is my birth right no matter if even if i fail 1000 times i'll rise again and try no matter what happens i'll keep trying trying and trying and trying so these are the three tasks from today's murli om shanti